All right, scary creatures, spooky art activities. They're all part of Eat a Bug Family's Art Day this weekend at the Art Museum of Southeast Texas. And here with more is Monique Sinet. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Absolutely good to see you. And of course, you know, you have some fun, delectable things. You know, I don't see any insects on the table, so we're good. What are some of the things that are going to be going on this weekend? Well, actually, we have our Eat a Bug Family Arts Day that is this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. It's completely free and open to the public, so everyone should definitely join us. Um, and I brought with me a couple of the cool hands-on art activities okay, that fun. the kids and their families will be able to work on. So we have an in-plane air painting, we have sugar skulls, we have bug antennas, mm -hmm. um, trick-or-treat bags, and um, a frame. Mm -hmm. And actually, I brought some fried crickets. Oh, nice. Fried yes. crickets. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's always a really popular activity. So Okay. Yeah. So do the kids actually get to taste the cricket? Or? Yes. Bill Clark Pest Control, they'll have um, plenty of crickets and worms on hand and they'll fry them up. And we will definitely have plenty for um, kids and their parents if they're willing to try. So they should definitely come on out. Okay. So what it, does it taste like chicken? Well, actually, it tastes like pork rinds. I've heard pork rinds <laughs> and bacon. I've tasted a few and uh -huh. they're not that bad. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's funny. Okay, so um, what's kind of like the message? What do you hope the kids learn from this? Well, from the Family Arts Day, um, we really encourage all the families to come and take a look at our current ex exhibition and to um, learn more about the arts. And this may be their ch first chance of really getting um, getting a look at what art is all about. Mm -hmm. And so they look at the exhibit and then they come back and they get to replicate some of those same ideas from the professional artists. So it's really a, a cool opportunity for the kids and their families to really get in involved in art. Absolutely. Now, is there an age group? My son's one and a half, and so he's just kind of starting to draw. What are, what are the age groups? Um, the age groups um, all the way up to high school, all the way down to toddlers. Okay. So um, we have a little bit of something for everyone, and um, it's really a good opportunity because we kind of can make it um, good for each age category, so all different age of kids are, are welcome to join us. Okay. Talk to me a little bit about the skull. What are some of the things that come along with that to be able to create what they want to do? Right. Right it? around the Halloween time, also, um, we want to teach more about Day of the Dead, which is a Mexican ho traditional holiday mm -hmm. that happens on November 1st and 2nd. So this is a, um, um, a traditional activity that is part of the Day of the Dead celebration. Okay. And so the sugar skulls and um, and things like that will be part of the activities. Okay, so like, what is some of the things that are painted on? So is, is it is not edible? Well, actually it is, this is all um, candies and icing and sugar. So it's edible, but you probably don't want to eat yeah. it just because it's really hard. Uh -huh. But um, if, if they want to, they <laughs> okay. could, but uh, I would, you know, it's really just more of an art activity. And yeah, it's come something, out and have fun. Yeah, nice to, um, to bring home and um, put on display. Okay, awesome. So kids are learning a lot about the different, um, you know, pictures and things like that. Just just, just drawing, basically just a fun time. Right. And of course, um, it's going to be from 10 until 2 o'clock on Saturday. That's right. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Families, come on out. And it's free, right? Right. It's completely free, so you don't have any excuse not to come. Absolutely. Our favorite four-letter word, free. <laughs>